you don't need me to, me to tell you that marriage is not doing that well these days, right? You know that, that uh, somewhere between 50 and 60 percent uh, of marriages survive, somewhere between 40 and 50 percent of marriages tank. And of the marriages that stay together, the long-term relationships that stay together, how many are there for the sake of the children or finances or religion or fatigue or fear? How many really happy relationships is this culture producing? I don't think that many. I think marriage is in a state of crisis right now, and it has been in a state of crisis for at least a generation. What is going on? What's the big picture? Here it is. I think that the essence of what's going on can be summed up in one sentence. The change of women's roles in the 20th and 21st century is one of the great historic stories of our time. It is truly a revolution. Women have changed culturally, women have changed economically, women have moved into the workforce. And I believe that, and this is not uh, dissing men or uh, criticizing men, but there simply has not been a commensurate change in the role of men uh, as there has been in the role of women over the last century. Women have changed and so far, by and large, men have not. What this means, I believe, is that the nature of marriage has changed. You know, you read Jane Austen, uh, you take a look at where women were before they had economic resources, and uh, the reason to be in a marriage was to be in a marriage. And the 20th century marriage uh, is what I call a companionable marriage. Two people getting along. Look, in my mother or grandmother's day, if uh, my mother came to her mother and said, listen, um, my husband is stable, he's a good provider, he doesn't beat anybody, he doesn't cheat on me, he doesn't drink, but I just feel like we're strangers. We haven't had sex in five years. Or I feel like he demeans me in public. Or, or, or. What do you think my mother would have been told? Go back to your good husband. Right? That's good enough. But nowadays we've moved from a, the basics of a companionable marriage to a truly intimate marriage. We want good sex into our 50s, 60s, 70s, and beyond. We want to be able to take long walks on the beach and hold hands and talk to each other. We want to be each other's best friend. What we want nowadays is a lifelong lover relationship. This is historically new. We have not wanted this before. We have significantly raised the bar on our ambitions for marriage. There are a couple of issues. One is this. When I say we have raised the bar, Am I talking about both sexes equally? I'm afraid not. Well, there's lots of variations, and whenever I say these broad cultural things, take them all with a grain of salt. Nevertheless, I want to say, look, if I had a nickel for every guy who called me up and said, Terry, I want to bring my wife in here. We're just not as close as we used to be. <laughs> I would not be able to retire. <laughs> 70% of divorce is instituted by women. You want to know why 70% of divorce is instituted by women? You want to know why women in this generation are divorcing in record numbers compared to generations before? I'll tell you why. You ready? They can. Is that too technical for you? Women no longer need marriage for the paycheck or the stability. And it is just these kind of what I call quality of relationship issues that are breaking up uh, marriages that would have been stable a few generations ago.